Hello, my Yachtista friends. In this video, we are going to do a walkthrough and talk with the owner of a 53 foot Carver Voyager, which is the pilot house version. This is a boat that he bought in Louisiana, took to Florida, and then brought to Mexico to have some work done. And he, uh, at this point, has already left Mexico and is back in California. So let's see what it's all about. We are Matt and Monique, parents to five beautiful daughters and one dashing son. With five of our parental responsibilities out of the house, we made a life-altering decision to sell everything and set out on a journey of a lifetime with our youngest daughter and her dog, Guidos. Our journey would take us from Sacramento to San Francisco, then to Mexico. From Mexico, we would continue on to Panama, through the canal, and then to Florida to begin America's Great Loop. We began this journey on January of 2022, but with several hiccups and delays, we only made it to Ensenada, Mexico. We anticipated beginning the 2022 Mexican cruising season on December 10th, but on November 26th, a serious infection would derail our plans with a month of hospitalization and six months of medical treatment. Our journey will have to wait until the 2023 cruising season. Until then, we will share our knowledge and experiences and show how we will continue to improve our skills, the condition of the boat, and how we provision for the longest journey we have ever made. For those of you who already enjoy the yachting community, you know how warm and inviting other boaters are, at least for the most part. And those boaters in Mexico are no different. Monique and I were invited to join Randy and Cecilia for her mother's birthday celebration. I think she was turning 21 years old again. We arrived shortly after the party started and I could not resist including these images in this video. They demonstrate the amount of room available in the cockpit and the salon and kind of gives you an idea of the lifestyle we enjoy on the water. All right, my name is Randy. Uh, I have a 53 Carver uh, Voyager Pilot House. Um, the last boat I had was a 4587 Bayliner. Um, I've been wanting this style of boat, this uh, Carver Pilot House, for a long time. And um, I'm, I've got it now, so I'm real happy. Excellent. So uh, here in Mexico, uh, where I met this guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 I won't okay. tell you his name, but I met him, and he wants to do a little video. So we'll so talk what a year, little bit. What year Carver is this? This is a 98. And... Um, it, we've had a lot of work done on it here, including a hardtop put on it, uh, which was done fantastic. Uh, however, the three days that they told me it would take turned into about six months. So if you ever have it done, <laughs> be careful. Mexico's time is a lot different than anybody else's. Um, and uh, so anyway, me and my wife really uh, love the boat a lot. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to going back to... Uh, uh, United States soon back to Los Angeles tell me about your uh, cruising uh, your cruising background where do you guys usually cruise I uh, usually cruise in the California Delta and um, and what's your uh, favorite part of the the Delta 
uh, you know what? I, I just, I, I really just enjoy it because the fresh water for one, the covered berths, um, it, the boat stays in really good shape just because you don't have uh, the salt killing it and you don't have the sun. Um, and uh, there's a lot of islands, uh, a lot of restaurants with bands on the weekends. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's well, I, I, I just really enjoy um, anchoring out between the islands and stuff. So you're always close to shore, um, but you're still in the water. Um, you know, so it's it's you know it's just a, it's a lot of fun, very enjoyable. It's just it's what I like to do. Now this boat uh, doesn't have a deep draft, right? Uh, four nine. Four feet nine inches. Four foot nine inches. Yeah. So it's 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 a lot more than my than my last one. I, I believe I had a three. I think it was a three foot draft in the forty five eighty seven, and um, so this is a little bit more. So I've got to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> so there are some places that I used to go that I won't be able to. Uh, okay. But overall, overall, it's you know it's still it's a good Delta boat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're they're just absolutely beautiful. Uh, what type of power do you have? Four fifties. Uh, twin 450s. 450... Um, Cummins. Cummins? Cummins, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, how yeah. many hours? Uh, there's about 1,900. Oh, or, so or, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, a little under 1,100. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're, they're not even broken in. Not really. Um, they, they fly. I mean, it's, it cruises pretty good. Um, I think when we were in Florida, um, we're actually coming from New Orleans, um, to going to Florida, going across the Okeechobee River system, when we were in the Gulf, I'm I think we were probably doing about 18, 17 knots, 18 knots, wow. something like that. But that was you know like probably as fast as you'll go. But it, you know it cruises. So uh, here we're doing about 12 to 13 knots. Um, it's a little bit rougher water I think than it was there. Oh God. Yeah. So that's a great segue to you. Where did you buy the boat? Um, in New Orleans. So tell me about so you, yeah. Hence, tell me about the that. trip. Hence the trip from. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lo I, I've had lots of questions about because originally we were going to ship our boat from yeah. here to to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Right. But you've actually done it. Yeah. So yeah, tell tell us about that experience. Uh, not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure, but it's still cheaper than taking a boat yourself. You know, the fuel cost and just, you know, whatever other costs, you know, uh, for wear marinas and, and just and, and yeah, totally wear and tear. Um, but we, we left New Orleans. Um, I think we went to Mobile, Alabama the first day. Um, and we stayed at, I guess it's Jimmy Buffett's sister's marina oh. um, in Mobile, Alabama. It's in uh, the intercoastal. And so we we made it there the first night and uh, it was really a lot of fun but of course didn't get to see Jimmy Buffett <laughs> or the sister uh, what what, uh, what time of the year was that I think we got here in September I believe we, yeah I believe we got here in September so it would have been August oh I believe. Was, was it hot there yep yeah oh yeah it was very hot very muggy yes <laughs> Nasty. It just—it's not something I enjoyed. As far as the, it was nice when we were on the water because it's a little bit cooler. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're cruising, of course, you know it, the wind kind of keeps you nice and cool. But uh, so we we just we went down the intercoastal, I guess, until we got to Carabel, Florida, uh, and then from there we went across from Carabel uh, to Clearwater, and uh, and then from Clearwater to Fort Myers, and that's in it. Okeechobee River system and then from there you know through all the locks a lot of fun it was the first time I actually had taken my own boat uh, through a lock before hmm. so it was fun and it was a nice experience went to a, a lot of marinas you know just hole in the walls uh, including this one um, Martin uh, what is his name Roland Martins um, I can't remember what city that was in, but <laughs> but anyway, it was it was in the Okeechobee River system, so it was a lot of fun. But it was pretty close to, uh, um, you know, Fort Fort Lauderdale. I think we had two more days, and we we're in Fort Lauderdale from there. So uh, it's really nice. A lot of really just clear turquoise, 
just absolutely beautiful water. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it was just gorgeous. I just wanted to stay there, but uh, didn't oh, happen. Didn't happen. Well, I wanted to get out um, and get home. I guess you know, just wanted to get home. And of course, I didn't expect to stay in Mexico for e almost a year, <laughs> and so. You know, Join the club. Yeah. I, I didn't think I'd be here either. <laughs> yeah, so I hear you were here before I got here, so I know you've been here for a while. You went to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Correct. And uh, how, how long did you have to stay in Fort Lauderdale before the ship came? Um, it was about a week, I think. Two weeks. Two weeks, okay. Yeah, so it was two weeks. What is um, Wendy when it's possible? But we had already planned on it, so we had, we had known that we were going there and that was you know we wanted to get there a little early just in case anything happened yeah. on the way mm -hmm. and um knock on wood nothing did happen mm -hmm. thank god other than a couple of nice little storms <laughs> that were a lot of fun and then you stayed on the boat stayed on the boat yep oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah w nowhere else then they they lifted the boat out of the water and put it on the ship right correct and you were there for that i was there yeah well we we take the boat up to the side of the ship and then we stay on the boat until they get the slings on on the boat to pull it up and once they get it up then well before they actually lift it they they get the slings on it and just kind of touching it mm -hmm. and then you get off onto another boat and then they take you back to shore um and the next time you see the boat is uh, wherever it's going and how long did that take it it took three, I believe it was three weeks. It wasn't oh. that bad. I, yes. Yeah, three weeks. Okay. Just making sure my memory's <laughs> correct. Yeah. <laughs> so three, yeah, it was three weeks. And I actually thought it was going to be a couple months. Um, so. Well, they had said two weeks, but it ended up being three. So they had actually told me three weeks. Cause it was, or two weeks, I'm sorry. They told uh, me two weeks. Um, probably storms, I guess. Um, and also... Um, Going to different places. I think they went to Puerto Rico to pick up another boat after Fort Lauderdale um, And so there were different places that they had to go and you know It takes time to get them on and they you know they have to wait and mm -hmm. you know whatever the reasons are but they would It was constant contact. I mean it constantly lets you know uh, almost every day You know what was going on. So it was it was pretty good. It was a good experience Do you remember who you booked through and who uh, who the ship was? It was a very difficult name to say, so no, I don't. I couldn't tell you because I, I could never pronounce it. So, sorry. <laughs> was it the arrangements made in uh, Fort Lauderdale or on this Co side of the court? Fort Lauderdale. Okay. All right. yeah. Yeah, Interesting. Made, made in Fort Lauderdale, yeah. A guy named Jeff. Just, I can't remember the company name. I just... Uh, so wish I could help. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. He's not paying us yeah, for, right, this, right. for all this, so <laughs> yeah. that's fine. Yeah, right. And then you have an Onan generator? Go, um, go back no. to, the, to some of the stuff everybody's interested in. Um, Westerbeek. No, it's not a Westerbeek. Um, it's a uh, Col um, Kohler? Kohler, thank you. Okay. Yes, Kohler. I was, I, for some reason I had Coleman <laughs> on my mind, but I know that's a... Uh, so it's green. That's a cooler. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how many... How it's many actually not. It's white. Oh, it is yeah, white. It's white. It's a cooler. Oh, yeah. so I bet uh, Carver had it specially made they for... They did, yeah. It's because everything is white in the engine room, so, yeah. Yeah. And it's everything. interesting of, you know, when, you, when you're when you a nerd like me and you're constantly looking at boats, Yeah. you can tell, especially with, with Caterpillars, you, can, yeah. you look at a boat and if it's a custom boat... Yeah. They have yellow caterpillars. Right. Because they, they ordered them off the shelf, yep. stuck them in. Yeah. If it's a produ production boat, they're white. Right. Same with, uh, same with, uh, oh, God, uh, oh, Detroit's. Yeah. They're green. Wow. Unless they're, unless they're on a production boat, then they're white. Yeah. My, um, my Hinos were, are, were black. Uh, yeah. Black. They were black. And I actually really liked the color of them. It looked really nice, but... This actually really brightens up the engine room, so kind of uh, like the white see, now. You can see everything. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's really nice because, not that you'll ever have this problem with, with Cummings, yeah. with Detroit's, you get to see all the oil leaks and then oh, fix them or, or yeah. you know, just watch them. Yeah. So that's, that's important. And in a clean engine room is important. Well, with the white that. engines, you're right. I mean, we see anything that's, that's on the engine, so right, right. luckily they're spotless right now. Yeah, don't you love Knock it? Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they keep it that way. You just have to get down there with a rack. That's right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 
All right, so I'm outside in the uh, cockpit and the interior. You got this big, beautiful door coming into the salon. This is where we were just sitting. There's the galley. And this is the entertainment center. Right here, the TV pops up. The galley is a U-shaped galley. You got double sinks. Lots of glassware. And what I found very interesting is it has a full oven with a stove. And the cappuccino machine. <laughs> Microwave. So you got a freezer and a refrigerator? Correct. Beautiful. And then open to the pilot house. All right, we'll go up there. So from the salon, it's up two steps. Hallway down. And here's your pilot house. Oh, look at this. One step up into the pilot house and look at these beautiful electronics. Raymarine Axiom. Raymarine Axiom. And I actually have pictures of them going, so I'll, I will show those up on the screen. All right, it's nighttime. I'm gonna do an interview later, but this is the camera on his Raymarine. And that's on the stern of the boat. Oh, it just turned on the underwater lights. <laughs> but I am so impressed with how easy it is to see around you. Look at the detail. I just left it on the... Beautiful love seat. Balance start gestures. And then up into the flying bridge. And we'll go up there now. Nice steps to get up here. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of wind, so you probably can't hear me very well. So that's the helm. He's having new Isinglass put up, but it's not Isinglass. It's the the harder plastic uh, stuff, so it'll last longer. back and there's your back deck you got a refrigerator oh no that must be an ice maker and that's an ice chest right over there for all you music thuds look at that that's a very nice system up here bow and stern thrusters. Got a great view of the bow. Here's your... Let's see, can you see that? Yeah, there's the bow and the stern thrusters. Here you go, you got your bow thrusters and your stern thrusters right there. Uh, that's going to be autopilot. That's for your electronics. Very nice and neat. Comfortable, comfortable boat. Listo? Go for Ready? it. Ready? Okay. Huh. And by the way, it's, it, you can't, uh, it's not a race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is really nice. Yeah. You don't have to look at it. Nope. Doesn't get damaged, won't fall out or exactly. down. And honestly, how much TV do you watch when you're when you're at anchor or you're cruising? Not that much. Yeah, neither do we. Yep. Yeah, so that's nice. And I love that pretty little thing on top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody has very good taste. Yeah. 
Uh, you know who that would be? Yes. It definitely would not be mine. If he's up to me, he probably wouldn't be there. It'd be a, be a football trophy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we buy a... <laughs> I got you now. <laughs> We install a boat, you say. We're, we're actually, we're going to install a, a boat. Yeah, it's a handmade, oh, a oh. handmade wood boat. And speaking of old wood boats, I love it. With actual metal props. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, and you know, and shafts. And Let's see. Okay, you're telling me about uh, your comfort zones. In other words, air conditioning. Oh, yeah. There's four air conditioners. Uh, one in the salon. One in the pilot house. Uh, one in the master stateroom, and then one for the guest stateroom and um, the over-under bunks. And they're all down in the engine room? No, actually one is right here for the salon. Okay. The one is right underneath the first two steps when you go into the pilot house. Um, and then the other two are actually in each room. Or one's so they're in the forward stateroom, uh, the view berth, and the other one's in the master stateroom. So you have the self-contained units? Correct. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And you'll really love those when they go kaput because yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise it's a nightmare. Yeah. Like I have. Yeah. No, Put it's not a problem. Wood. Knock it's on not wood. Problem. I'm knocking on wood, everybody. Knock on wood, absolutely. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not having any problems with yeah. my air conditioners. All right. We're going to go downstairs. Okay, let's go. I'm following you. We got a pilot house door right here. And nice stacks. Here we go. Okay. So, real quickly. We have three doors down here, and if we start at the forward, the bow, this is what you would call the VIP. Earth, yeah, the, the guest stateroom, or VIP. Big, it's just got to be at least a, a, a queen-size bed, right? Sure, yeah. Very comfortable. Lots of room. And then over here is the uh, head, and there's uh, it's a Jack and Jill, so we'll, we'll go through the other side. Correct. TV. Yep. And closet. And closet. And then drawers here for more storage. You know, it's funny. You can date, date a boat by the by the telephone outlets. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this this boat's new, completely newer than ours because they're actually integrated into the wood. Ours are 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 glued to the side. Oh, really? But they still have them. Oh, how funny. All right. Then the next. The over and under bunks and uh, they're pretty big so oh yeah they're huge so all you need are, are uh, big friends and they've got a place to stay more art and that's absolutely gorgeous okay now I'm gonna go around Oop, oops forgot the that's okay we have an enclosed light. Yeah. See, this is nice. I love the, the fact that you have a fully enclosed shower. Of course, 53 feet. Yeah. And vacuum flush heads. Yep. Are you using the digest? The digest? <laughs> Yeah, you have to watch one of my videos. Oh, okay. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> and we've just entered the master stateroom. And this is a, this is definitely a queen. Actually, it looks larger than a queen. And as you can see, this one actually is a looks like a standard bed. So this is let me open these. Washer and dryer. Very nice. And is, then the, is that a closet right there? That is a closet, which I won't open. No, no. It's fine. Um, but this is the head. Yeah. The Very sink, nice. and then this is the shower and bathtub. Okay. So. This is storage also. <laughs> <laughs> only oh, only while you're here. Yeah, but. only while we're here. But that's the bathtub and, yeah. and that's the shower head. It's you can use it in the bathtub and or hang it up there. So Oh yeah, you got lots of room though. Oh yeah, that's really the nice. bathtub comes back to here. Wow. Yeah. Oh I guess I better so go there's up. actually a little more room then. 
Oh yeah, that's, that's the. Oh yeah, you got that's a full. Christ- yeah, that's the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our little bathtub is half the size of that. But yeah. they still call it a bathroom or a bathtub. Yeah. Well, I don't know why. Okay. And you have storage under both beds. Correct. Fuel to fuel. Ah, oh, there we go. Fuel capacity. Fuel capacity is 800 gallons. Water capacity is 200 gallons. And waste. And waste is 100. Oh, you got 100 gallons of waste? Yeah, two, oh, that's well, we, fantastic. We, there's two uh, separate tanks. So we have one tank oh. for here and one tank for the other one. Perfect. So 50 Perfect. tanks, 50 on each tank. You're, you're good to go. I'm going to go down in the engine room backwards. Oh, I see your door. Yeah, the one they broke. Mm. So uh, this is the um, Kohler generator that we were talking about. Stern thruster. The power shore cable in its little container. Oh, you have Glendining or Glendinning shore, uh, shore power? Oh, I love that. Uh, the fuel tanks are a little bit close, but uh, there's one. And there's the other. Now we're going to go into the engine room here. So these are the Cummings. And then the water tanks up there, there's one on the uh, port side and just the one on the starboard side. And the waste tanks are one up in the starboard uh, forward there. And port forward. Okay. You got it? There is your tour. Okay, if you're ever going to get carpeting for your boat, this is mm-hmm. the type of carpeting you want. It's got the rubber rubberized backing. Yeah. This has been beautifully bound. And it's kind of a Berber carpet. This will last forever and it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's that's what we're eventually going to get. And that's what's on the whole boat. Oh yeah, let me so there's the co- the the uh, swim step. He's done it on the swim step, which on the delta you hang your feet off the back of the boat most of the time. Yeah. So it's perfect. I would like to thank Randy and Cecilia for opening their boat to us and answering the questions that I think most of us had burning in our pockets. I really appreciate the hospitality and uh, Randy. I wish you light winds and following seas all the way to Northern California. Although, having done it, I don't think that will be your experience. Enjoy your time in Northern California and on the Delta. We really enjoyed it when we were there.